Okay, it was a busy day today. We are still in Grand Bahama Island. We got here a couple of days ago, but um, Troy's been busy working and I've been busy being sick. So we haven't gone out and done anything on the island until today. Um, well, the first day we were too exhausted because we sailed all night and that's exhausting. And um, yeah, there was a whole adventure in there, but you know, it has to do with the fact that um, the wind picked up. I was on watch, it was 3 a.m. The wind picked up and got, it was like 18 knots sustained winds, 20 knot gusts, and then it became 20 knot sustained winds. We had the jib up and the full main, no, no reef in the main. So it was just um, uh, too much. I mean, the boat was doing fine. The boat wasn't in any danger. We were actually in no danger because the wind, the waves, swells weren't that high so we weren't in any danger but it wasn't comfortable and I neither of us were comfortable with full sail with winds at that speed because honestly if it picked up anymore if a gust came through that was any stronger it could totally you know rip the jib to shreds or you know, really cause a problem so you don't want to do that especially at night because you can't you know it's dark so had to wake up Troy because it takes two of us to take down um, the mainsail because somebody has to steer into the wind and the other person has to take down the mainsail and of course it's night and it's the Bahamas so the humidity is really really high so everything's wet the the deck is wet the handle for the boom is just drenched everything is soaking wet so Troy is the best at steering into the wind so he was in the cockpit trying to keep us steered into the wind um, we got the jib furled up, and I went forward to furl up the main. <sighs> the winds were strong, as I said, and that makes furling up the main difficult. And I was doing my best, and I got it like five or six twists in, and like I said, the handle was wet, and so it slipped, flipped around a couple of times, whacked me in the face, right over here you can see knocked my glasses clean off my face broke them Sh shattered my glasses, knocked them clean off my face so I'm blind as a bat y'all know I can't see worth beans without my glasses um knocked them clean off my face and broke them the only thing we found later was a single lens that's it that's all that was left it was a single lens from my my glasses that I got right before we left Utah anyway got the main furled. Troy actually, I got most of it done, but tried to come forward to finish the rest because I was just, you know, a mess at this point. And in pain, and I mean, you get whacked with a piece of spinning metal. It's not the most fun thing in the world. Although I did think that I saw, thought that I saw my glasses on the front net. And so I went forward to, I went out to the front net to grab my glasses. Turns out it wasn't my glasses. It was a flying fish. So for a while there, I was questioning, did I get hit by the the uh, boom handle or did I get whacked in the face by a flying fish but Troy assures me that with the bruise and the fact that it knocked my glasses clean off my face it was not the fish it was the boom handle so that was not fun anyway so that that was our adventure on on crossing from Bimini to Grand Bahama Island just you know a lesson in Angela next time wake up Troy sooner and get the the sails taken care of sooner before that happens because we could have just put in a couple of reefs in the main wound up the jib a little bit and been fine and none of that drama would have had to happen and my glasses would still be on my face instead I thankfully brought my old pairs back up and so I can see but uh so anyway on top of all of that um the local water doesn't seem to agree with me stop laughing Tiffany it doesn't seem to agree with me and um anyway so I, I've had uh travelers issues it happens um and Troy's been busy so today tonight we went out we went out to dinner fabulous restaurant called ironically enough the flying fish gastropub I know I know I just I know so uh, food was fantastic. They had a huge gluten-free selection. I mean, 
fantastic gluten-free selection and the food was delicious absolutely delicious the service was impeccable um the the atmosphere was fab just amazing right charming and just fabulous dinner and then we walked over and there's a, a market area sort of like uh, the french market in new orleans only you know i mean obviously it's bahama style right and there's some ladies over there and we're just walking through and kind of looking and and we're trying to get to a grocery store because you know we just need a few provisions not much but trying to get to a grocery store and i don't think there's any uber on the island or lyft or anything of that nature i think it's all just taxis but we weren't sure on the protocol on how to go about getting a taxi and so i just had this feeling i need to go talk to one of these ladies walked over there talk talking to this lady and um she's all like oh oh honey don't worry about it we can get you a taxi and so she calls across the the market to a couple of her friends over there and they're all like do you know the the number for the taxi do you know the number for the taxi i finally found someone who did and she's like oh i'll call so and so and i mean literally there are like four ladies involved in finding a taxi for us i i, I eventually I, just hailed one that was passing on yeah. the road so yeah they just flagged down one that was passing and our, and he's like oh well i gotta drop these people off and i'll come back around and get them great oh my gosh who does that for total strangers these people have never met us in their lives right so the talking to the first gal her name's lynette and she is fabulous and the oh my gosh the most warm-hearted open lady ever and she's talking to us do you guys have a boat here and we're like she's like well next time you come to the islands you just give me a call she gave me her phone number and she's like and i'll come and take you anywhere you need to go in my own car you won't have to hire a taxi and and you can just give me a ride on your boat i have always wanted to have a ride on a boat and nobody will take me out on one we're like done done if we were staying longer we'd take you out tomorrow i mean this lady was so sweet and so warm and generous and just a lovely charming lady but then we went over to wait for the taxi and all the other ladies are like oh you gotta come look at my stuff oh you gotta come look at my stuff oh you gotta come look at my stuff i wound up buying like five different little tchotchkes because i mean how could i not these gals just i mean went out of their way to find us a taxi and to give us a hand and to talk to us about this they were sweet seven at night and there's nobody else around yeah they're trying to make a living exactly what troy just said and i felt even less bad about it once we got to the grocery store um i uh, i would go back to the market tomorrow and buy more from these ladies if i possibly could because um the prices at the grocery store whoa okay so everyone tells you provision before you leave florida because the prices are a lot higher in the bahamas so okay we so we did right but there were a few you know we wanted some more fresh fruit and i was looking for clothespins oddly enough i found clothespins and not at a terrible price either but it was a terrible price that bag was like 13 dollars. that bag was only 10 dollars. no it was 10.99 so okay so the bag was 11 dollars. okay we're walking through and first off there is like nothing gluten-free in the grocery store at all i don't think that grocery gluten-free grocery store shopping exists in the bahamas yet um for everybody who has celiacs in the bahamas i am so sorry um oh but the rest of the dinner was amazing the dinner i mean honestly the gluten-free dinner was fantastic at the restaurant i just don't think grocery shopping for the average person exists here yet for gluten-free folks and if there is a gluten-free grocery store somewhere in the bahamas please somebody let me know because yeah i would like to be able to go grocery shopping before we leave because i'm pretty sure we're going to be out of food by then so the thing that blew me away is like we turned down the cookie cracker aisle right and what do i see but gluten-free oreos oh awesome and so i picked up a package and put it in the cart and we're halfway down the aisle and troy's comment was and you did you realize that those oreos are twelve dollars for a package of oreo twelve dollars we're not talking like 
uh, an exchange rate or anything because the exchange rate for Bahamian dollars and American dollars is a one-to-one -one exchange rate, right? A dollar is a dollar is a dollar over here. $12 for a package of Oreos. The Oreos went back on the shelf. <laughs> they did not come to the boat. Uh, we, we did get apples and some other necessities that we needed, but that was like it. Okay, but let me tell you about this. This So, provision before you leave Florida. Oh my gosh, prices are insane. I do not know how the average Bahamian can afford to live. So, which is why I would go back and do more shopping from those ladies. And I don't normally buy tchotchkes, but. So this, this taxi driver that the ladies flagged down for us and who took us to the grocery store, told us on the way to the grocery store that he'd wait for us to come back out and he'd bring us back to the yacht club. Wow, okay, that's very kind. We get to the grocery store and somebody at the grocery store flags him down and says, these gals need a ride. Okay. And so we're like, okay, well, we need to pay you. He's like, no, 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 I'll be back for you. Just pay me then. And he loads up these girls and drives off. Who does that? Who is that trusting? Oh my word. I was just flabbergasted that, that this, I mean, this open-handed generosity going on around here is just mind blowing, right? And sure enough, we came out of the grocery store and he was waiting there. And then I expected, of course, given the prices at the grocery store, I expected this taxi ride to be, uh, you know, to be just ridiculously priced. Uh, no, it was actually the cheapest thing about the entire evening was the taxi ride. It was the only thing that wasn't outrageously priced. And, and he was funny and sweet. And I wish I rem remembered his name. Do you remember his name? Anyway, he drives a, a beige... Toyota, is it a Toyota? Mitsubishi something. Toyota or Mitsubishi minivan. So if you need a taxi in Grand Bahama, find that minivan because he was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I would recommend him to anybody. So yeah, a oh, crazy, crazy time. So we leave tomorrow. We're going to uh, Little Abaco Island. Somewhere, well, I think that's Abacos. what, we're going to the Abacos and I think that's the one that we're going to um, first. Um, it might take us a couple of days to get there because we have to go around the, the, so we have to go around the bottom of Grand Bahama and then up and around the top of Little Abaco Island to get to the eastern side of Little Abaco Island because that's where all of the snorkeling and spots are and places to see things are all on that side of the island. And on the western side, it's all mud flats, and we don't want to be in the mud flats because apparently that's really shallow and very buggy so we don't want to go there so we want to go around the other side and hopefully just for my astrid we will get to snorkel with sharks and i can take videos keeping my fingers crossed for my little girly so this has been our adventure so far so far the I mean, the weather's fabulous. The sea breezes are fantastic. The people are the friendliest people I swear I've met on this earth so far. So friendly, so kind. Owen, got my hair chopped off. Trey did it for me and I'm loving it because no more heat on my neck. He actually, I don't know if you guys can see that he shaved the back of my neck just a little bit. So no more hot hair sticking to my neck which was making me absolutely crazy. So, and you guys can all see my gray, my roots growing out and I'm totally good with it for the rest of this trip. Fix it when I get home, don't care. So, have a grand time, just don't care. <laughs> anyway, mwah.